fitting injector sleeves to the Leyland 498 and 698 cylinder head. Um, just done this little film to show how this procedure is carried out. So the first thing is, so we've got a cylinder head here where we're missing two injector sleeves. These have come out when we've removed the injectors and been stuck to the injectors. So what I have done is used a wire brush on the end of my drill inside to get it all spotlessly clean. I have then been round with the emery cloth around the edge to make sure that that edge, there's no sharp or jagged spots. It's worth noting that if the sleeves have been in and out loads of times or somebody's been at it, this surface in here where my nail, this little nail, can become all scored and pitted. And this can cause uh, aggravation to people. Um, but in this case, this head is all nice. So the original 86K1098 are, it's just a copper sleeve. It's swaged, um, it, it, it's sort of, it's, it's not a machined item. And what you'll notice that the, that the head here is slightly larger than the ball. So that's 27.4 mil. And the ball in the head is about, it's about 26.6 or thereabout. So what I've got is a little uh, mandrel here for driving them in. Pop, pop it in like that pop that in make sure obviously you you've, you've lined up the bottom of the sleeve with, with the lower part of the head because obviously if you put it on an angle like that or that or that it will go wrong so pop it like that put your mandrel in and then just drive it home like this then when you look down the hole you can see it's gone all the way home. You can see around the head, edge here is all nice. We've not deformed the edge of the sleeve or anything like that. We'll just do another one. Oh. So just have to get. So we'll fit the second one. Once again, down in the holes, nice and clean blow out what i will say about this job is that you do need a degree of competence with it you can't just thrash them in so if it goes wrong it's not going to be the fault of either the head or the sleeve it's just be going to be because you've just not got the experience in doing it obviously this is something now that's uh, a 50 year old process almost so you know be, be be mindful and if you haven't got the experience seek somebody who can do it for you somebody who's a specialist in the Leyland parts like ourselves or whoever um, because there's very few people around with the skills these days that can do this so we put the sleeve in we'll drive it in again I, obviously when I've cleaned it up that's had a slight burr at the top of the head and as you can see it's taken a, a little bit of a scrape off that'll be simply due to the fact that that it's got a little bit of a burr but we'll, we'll roll it in and we'll see what happens so what we have here are the two rolling tools that we use with injector sleeve 86k1098 these are old, uh, well, the company was originally Churchill and then it was uh, went to Wicksteed, but these are genuine tools. So you use a larger tool for the top and what you get, what you do, put your tool in. And you your... What it does, it opens out and just expands the sleeve. And what, what I've found over the years is as it starts to expand, 
it actually goes tight, as you can see now with myself, and then you stop and back it off. Because what we do, we'll do a pressure test on this once I've rolled them in, but you can always take them a little bit more. You can't do any damage at the top when you roll them in. You can over roll them at the bottom and explode the bottom of the head. So be aware. Um, but you sort of set it off. And if you remember, this is the one which knocked a little bit of a burr up when I fitted it. But once again, I can feel it coming tight. That's gone. tight now so we'll back it off so when you look inside now you can see I've got a very polished surface where it's obviously expanded and what you can also is see is there's a line just inside at the bottom of me uh, mandrel where it's uh, rolled the sleeve so now what we're going to do we're going to do the lower section so we use this tool, that drops into the bottom. And then once again, we're going to roll it. Once again, I felt it go tight and the tool's gone up to the, it's gone up to the shoulder. Now what you can do sometimes you can swap the mandrel pins if you need to. The top mandrel pin will fit in the other tool. So if you need to nip the bottom up a bit more, you can swap the mandrel pins over. So we'll then, so we've done that one. So now we'll do this second one. Now this one, I've just gone to the bottom. I feel that it could possibly do a little bit more. So what I'm going to do, swap the mandrel pins, put the fatter mandrel pin in, and be careful just to give it a nip more. But like I said, you can overdo it. So, and that's that because I felt it go tight. So next thing I'm going to do is set this up on the pressure testing rig, and I'll demonstrate if it's sealed or not for you. So what we're doing is we are now pressure testing the head that we've just fitted the sleeves to. We've got 40 psi pressure in there. And I found this to be adequate for checking for leaks on these heads over the years. You don't want to go higher because obviously it's a cast iron head, it could explode. So I've got some leak detection spray here. I'm gonna go around the first one that went in nicely. As you can see, no leaks around the top. You can then also, you, what you do is, you run it in round the sides for the bottom as well. And what you can see in the bottom, it's not bubbling up or anything, so that one's all good. So we're going to move to this one here. Sadly, my leak disruption spray bottle has decided it wants to go on strike for some reason, only known to itself. But what we can see is this top one is leaking. There we go. So what you can do in this case is you can drop your rolling tool back in like this and just give it a nip. What tends to happen with these rolling tools is they tend to have a bite point. Now sometimes I lift them up just fractionally. This one's been a perfect demonstration it's not wanting to bite but you can just lift it up a little bit and what you feel is they sort of they don't do anything and all of a sudden they grab so 
So now we're just going to just get it to grab, which is hopefully going to do for me. hoping it was going to grab nicely for the film but it's not doing that Sadly, this is not wanting to play ball today. Then what I've had to do is lift it up a little bit. Just wasn't wanting to play ball, as you can see. But as you can see now, it's gone tight. Obviously, if this was easy, everybody would be doing it. Sadly, it's not. So now what we can do now is have another little go with me spray. And after much of a performance, it doesn't leak. Now I'm going to do it down the hole as well. So, and what you can see down the hole, there's no leak either. And there we had it. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. I have been doing it for too long. And you can even see, it makes me sweat. Uh, and it doesn't always go just as you want when you're trying to explain it but it does work fine and like i say um it is one of those whereby you need a reasonable amount of perseverance with it because sadly this is just an, an old idea there we go thank you